got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Uh, welcome back. Uh... So, uh, I, um, wanted, <laughs> so this, this thing I found out has been driving me crazy ever since I did so much so that, uh, 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 Brittany and Michelle stopped over the other day and I'm just like, I can't wait until Sunday. We have to, I have to show you this. So I'm going to show this now to Jairus and, okay. uh, I want to, uh, talk about it. Okay. Uh, the link should, uh. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. <laughs> oh, boy. So, when you said you were going to talk about Space Jam 2 today, I was like, oh, yeah, let's talk about Space Jam 2. We can talk about Space Jam, how much we love it, how it's going to be uh, uh, impossible to do a proper sequel to it, all kinds of things that we can talk about. But no. This weird ass Space Jam 2 leak has like. A bunch of fucking. They're extra creating guest a Space Jam cinematic universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> they're 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 like fuck just the Looney Tunes. We're gonna get everything we can throw in there. It is. I'm like looking at everything. So like the title is like Space Jam Two leaks include Joker mask and Pennywise. Mm-hmm. They said they'll also be including. Um, Ah, uh, fuck. Harry Potter, Wizard of Oz, and even The Matrix? Mm-hmm. Uh, in, in the uh, video we saw, uh, the Wicked Witch of the West was on there. Yeah. Mad Max characters, Clockwork Orange, Penguin, fucking the Wicked Witch of the West, and wild. Agent Smith. I mean, fuck it, Batman. I want yeah. Batman on my team. I mean, is this... Is this hashtag not my Space Jam, or is this true to Space Jam's weirdness? Uh, you, you, honestly, I think I, I get- there's no good way to go, so you might as well go <laughs> as bad as possible. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this because, like, I'm not one of those people that's usually like, oh, this is ruining my childhood. I hate it. Um, I'm just like, oh, I won't watch it or I won't watch it again <laughs> if I didn't like it. Mm. Um, but it's just like, I'm just. Out of curiosity, like where where are they going for here? Because in the original Space Jam, they just reached out to um, pretty much all of the Looney Tunes, like all mm-hmm. of the like weird one off characters made like a cameo at least. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but it's just weird that they're recognizing like there was some like fourth wall breaking in Space Jam where they talked about Warner Brother properties mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, but he kissed his own ass. Yeah, and he kissed his own ass, which is pretty funny as an adult. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but as like I don't know, like what are they doing with this? Is it supposed to be like a scary movie type of thing where they're just hodgepodging all their properties together? Like I don't I don't know. I have to see more of it because maybe maybe it's a parody on the on the whole notion of, of uh, a cinematic universe. So we have the Warner Brothers cinematic universe. Yeah. <laughs> Space Jam two is the official kickoff. <laughs> and it's just maybe maybe there'll be it like the Warner Brothers like movie lot or something and they're like running through different sets and maybe they'll see different things. I don't know. It's just very this actually weird. This <laughs> sounds like sounds... a setup to an Animaniacs movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking yeah, it's it... gonna be very Animaniacs. <clears throat> so that... one, I'm gonna say that this is all this all appears to be based off of one person's Instagram. Well, I oh, thought yeah. it was like a video that there were like, a bunch of, of people in this crowd that took t- took videos of it, but uh, yeah. Where did this video show Hutch? Uh, I I don't know the actual origin, um, mm-hmm. but it it was at, it looks like it's at some sort of like concert performance of some sort. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm still uh, yeah, I don't for, know the context. Of I'm still the, waiting of, for like a proper trailer for Space Jam 2. So yep. there's no proper trailer. <clears throat> there is a reveal photo. I just put it in our chat between each other. And uh, and uh, the reveal photo is just like a logo. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the logo, to be completely honest. I think it's a good logo for Space Jam 2. I but, agree. Uh, I really like Ryan Coogler, who is the mm-hmm. director. He did yeah. um, 
Creed, Black Panther, and a mm-hmm, like. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm very excited to see whatever weird like. At first, I was like, "Oh, this sounds like some wild, weird bullshit." And then I saw that he mm-hmm. was involved, and I was like, "I have faith that this human could pull it together in a way that so, makes sense." I. I didn't think about this until Hutch mentioned it, but he was just like, I want Batman on my team. And I was like, wait a minute. That's right. Maybe we can get Batman in a Space Jam jersey, still with the cowl on, but that's it. And playing, a, playing, playing with where it's, where LeBron it's, uh, James and Bugs Bunny. Conway from the yes. Batman the Animated Series. Yes. Yeah, that'd yes. be good. I, like, if I got that, I'd be like, Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm curious to see where they go because, like, okay, I'm gonna level with you guys. Space Jam, it's not that good. Mm-hmm. Uh, excuse me. The music is what makes that movie mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Um, and- like it was great when we were kids, but if you go back and try to watch it now, or if you try oh, to show it to people, it. he didn't direct it. He's he's writing and producing Space Jam: A New Legacy. Okay. Like I, if you or if you try to show it to people who've never seen it back in the day, like <clears throat> I think people will be like, Yeah, this movie is is okay. Like it's good. But yeah. it's not like as great as people make it out to be. I think it's it is it's just a nostalgia for movie. how fucking insane the nineties were. Yeah. yeah, agreed. And the nineties were insane and the Space Jam soundtrack catapulted that movie into yeah. meme-dom. But, and like I love that movie, but yeah. I understand even though R. Kelly too. has a sex cult, yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's super unfortunate. It's really, it's really hard. That's actually we watched the first movie we watched for our weekly like get together thing was Space Jam, uh-huh. and uh, when we did, it starts with "I believe I can fly." Yeah, that's literally the first thing that you hear, and I was just like, <clears throat> oh. Mm. And it's it's so hard to like start that movie now because of that. Yeah, it's a great song still. The, but, so, uh, oh, oh sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Um, this made me think of another movie that does something just as kind of crazy. Who Framed Roger Rabbit brings yes. together Warner Brother yeah. characters and Disney characters. I just looked it up, so it is a uh, Buena Vista distribution. Um. Mm. Although Touchstone Pictures and Amblin Entertainment produced it, uh, yeah, but it was this animated like by Disney. Disney. Rights now. Everybody yeah. had their hands in that movie, <laughs> and, so, and, and and they and they have the the um, section in uh, Disney World. So they the have. Movie. There's this concept that that still exists within uh, Disney and animation in general, um, and it's this idea that they call uh, kicking the lamp. So there's a scene in Who Framed Roger Rabbit where uh, Bob Hoskins picks up Roger Rabbit, like swings him around and he hits a lamp and the lamp spins around and like throws all these weird shadows. Um, And that single shot was like so much fucking time and so Mm -hmm. much money to make. But it was such a like thing that made the film better and more realistic and more interesting Mm -hmm. um, that like knocking the lamp or kicking the lamp is is this stand-in phrase for like do we want to do it or do we want to do it right yeah and there's like who framed roger rabbit is an amazing amazing movie it's fucking wild and weird and still haunts my nightmares sometimes but <laughs> yeah agreed like yep in terms Those of eyeballs. the amount of energy that went into it fucking wild so we watched this YouTube show where these visual artists <clears throat> they uh, critique mm-hmm. like uh, CGI and stuff. Mm. You probably remember the name of it. I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I forget. I, I can look it up. But you okay. Go ahead and keep um, so they uh, have people write in and they're like critique this uh, CGI and they do good movies and they do bad movies. But mm-hmm. they did um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit and some of the things they had to do to. Uh, it like 
replace the cartoons. It was like really crazy. Like they had this man driving this like little tiny fucking car for the scene where they're driving the cartoon car, and like all the actors were about to die at any moment because it just wasn't safe. Um, so uh, she's referring to a YouTube channel called Corridor Crew. Uh, they're actual visual effects artists in Hollywood. Yeah, worked on some movies, and they uh, they just. They look at like really good or really uh, bad like visual effects scenes. Sh- tell you how they did it and tell you what went wrong. And then they get a lot of guests too who actually worked on some of the projects. And mm-hmm. They can give you oh, some insight really cool. on how they actually did it. And yeah, it's really th- cool. I love that show. Actually, actually I kind of prefer the ones where they get stunt actors to come in. Yeah, mm-hmm. and show off all the stunt scenes that they did and like what the cost was and yeah. by cost i meant like human physical toll yeah. like oh i broke my arm doing this yeah. or whatever yeah 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 yeah. And those are really really interesting mm-hmm. well it's like the old um all the old cowboy movies they used to just set up a trip wire and mm-hmm. just trip like hundreds of horses yeah yep. <laughs> and when you trip a horse and it breaks its leg you have to kill that horse yeah horses can't live with uh, only like three legs yeah so <laughs> I found this out because I know this is derailing a little bit, but when I was a kid, my mom used to like to watch the horse races a lot. And my mom was really good at picking the winner. Like she was just really great at it. She never bet or anything because we were just at home. Uh, And one time as a little kid, I was probably like four. I remember it was like before I even went to school and I was like, I want that horse. And only because of the name or whatever, that horse broke its leg and they had to come out on the track and shoot it. (laughs) And my mom was like, wow, you fucking suck. You four year old. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> and that's why how many horses must die for your race? <laughs> yeah, right. So, wow. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And my mom still to this day will not live that down. She thinks that's so funny. <laughs> I mean, and I'm like, it is. great, mom. It, dark humor wise, it's pretty funny, but that is great. <laughs> Well, uh, stepping uh, sidestepping around Britney's psychological trauma, I'm very interested in seeing what they do with Space Jam too. <laughs> yeah, we'll me see too. What yeah, this sounds like it's going to be a trip to Olive Garden and then to the theater altogether. <laughs> I agree. Who yes. do you think will do uh, the theme song? Ooh. Do you think it will be the original Space Jam theme remixed? I think I it'll be a so. remix. No, Who do you think will do I the think remix? Make a new one. I hope it's DJ uh, It's Khaled. going to be Black Eyed Peas. It's going to be Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> well, why would it be Black Eyed Peas? Because Will I Am is going to do it. I just. I, no, it's going to uh, be I believe like... you mean William. <laughs> that, that's, that's correct. <laughs> it's going to be like. It's going to be weird. It's going to be like Drake is going to do it or something. You're you're not wrong. Or or Drake Billie featuring Eilish. Post Malone. <laughs> or yeah. like The Weeknd or some <laughs> the shit. The Weeknd, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I don't, you know, honestly, I like some of these artists, um, and if they pull off the best fucking music they've ever pulled off in their careers in that album, it'll be worthwhile. The problem, though, <clears throat> is that the music is the best part of the movie, so I don't think there's going to be much that will live up to the music uh, Excuse the me, movie. I believe you mean Bill Murray playing himself and winning the game? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is yep. true. <clears throat> I actually I, used that gif of him just coming out onto the court and just being like, excuse me, I believe you could use a bit of assistance. <laughs> I use that all the time professionally. <laughs> I forgot all about Bill Murray in that movie until like a few years ago. I think when mm-hmm. we rewatched it at some point mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah. oh yeah, Bill Murray is in this movie playing himself doing weird shit. Yeah, he just wanted to be in the movie. So I just—I hope he comes back for the next one. I just realized that he was playing himself in the movie last time I watched it. Like I never really caught that. I didn't really like. I knew who Bill Murray was as a kid, but that joke didn't. I didn't yeah. really get that joke. Well, but I, I think that's everyone the was aging process. Or a joke. Yeah, I think that I think that joke gets better with time as Bill Murray gets weirder. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. But my favorite part is the when the main monster, like the bad guy, was like, I didn't know if this was, I didn't know that Dan Aykroyd was in this picture or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really good. <laughs> Which also is Danny DeVito. Yeah, his voice by Danny DeVito. So 
<clears throat> yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Oh, I didn't I didn't know that. Jeez, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's so much star power in that movie. Well, the only yeah. way that this movie will be good is if LeBron James has a dog named Charles. <laughs> like, <laughs> no one's going like, to get that joke except people who like the first movie, which is L who's going to want to go because, see this. So. Yeah, because uh, Michael Jordan's dog was named Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> which is a really good dog name. Yeah, and Charles Barkley was also in Space Jam, so. <laughs> <laughs> so was Bugsy Malone, which was wild. <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait to see how Shaq uh, is in this, because he's going to be in this somehow. Shaq. Oh, he'll save every <laughs> one of us. I would, I would pay good money to watch someone remake the entire, oh, like, it's just one episode. Shaq. Yes, Flash Gordon with Shaq. I would yeah. pay good money for that. Shaq Goodsman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, Hutch, you got anything else for this one? No, I think we covered all of it. That's <laughs> just, just wild times, guys. All right. Well, thank you again, everyone. We'll see you on the next segment. Bye. 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 Smash like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> You were waiting for it, weren't you? Yep. I forgot about it. I was like looking at the wall. Or <laughs> That's going to be dumb. <laughs>